So uh, I am currently a software engineer, but my uni background was much more sort of theoretical computer science and philosophy. Um, I have quite a disparate set of interests, and basically I'm yeah, an indecisive person, um, a generalist if you want to be nice, but uh, yeah. Um, so two years ago, oh, empty slide, great. Two years ago, I was uh, finishing my master's degree, and I, for, for my main sort of project and dissertation, I wanted to marry together two parts of the computer science department at Oxford that had nothing to do with each other. They barely acknowledged each other's existence, formal logic and computer graphics. Um, so anyone that's familiar with a bit of formal logic will know these kind of things. Um, it's a sort of deductive proof system. Um, this one's natural deduction, but it's like you, you infer things through a you know, set of rules um, from premises. Yeah, it looks worse than it is, trust me. Um, <laughs> so um, what I decided I wanted to do was to try and map this to a 3D puzzle world. So to find a correspondence between um, the sound and complete proof system accompanying a propositional logic language um, and make it look something like this. Um, this one's particularly messy. Um, don't know why I put that one in there, Jesus Christ. Um, so... <laughs> um, yeah, uh, basically, I think I played too much pipe mania as a kid, so everything turned out as pipe networks. Um, but the idea is the variables are colors, and they get mixed and separated. It, it kind of looks something like this. It turns out it, it, it works. I, I wasn't sure it was going to work when I committed to doing it, but um, yeah, it turns out it works. More to the point, it's sound, and it's complete and expressively adequate for a uh, finite variable propositional logic, because um, finitely many colors. Um, but... Um, I think, yeah, it, it, it turned out all right. It turned out all right. The, the main thing um, that I wanted to pick up on, though, is that if anyone uh, who did, you know, a dissertation, a project, whatever, at uni, um, when you get into those final few days and weeks where it's, it's really crunch time and you get really nervous, um, for me, it started infecting my dreams, my nightmares. Um, I sort of found, um, skipping over this thing because I forgot I put it in, um, that uh, <laughs> this, is, this is how I did it. Yeah, you're great. Um, it turns out that my dream started looking like this. Um, it, it, it was kind of weird. Um, you start seeing these symbols and shapes and pipes all floating around together. Um, but to be fair, that's kind of what the dissertation looks like. So thank you, dreams. Um, so um, I also got the chance to do a lot of uh, cool like geometric modeling, some of it procedurally generated. There's some cool um, rendering tricks in there as well. So um, constructive solid geometry there with the torus. And there's parallax mapping. That's a really cool one. You give the sort of illusion of 3D. Um, and then you also get a lot of stuff like this where everything goes crazy. Um, don't ask how many hours I put into fixing these things, um, especially when it came to writing custom shaders because they are bloody hard to debug. Um, having said that, would highly recommend um, rendering and um, shader-based stuff if you never got the chance to play with it before. It, it's really cool. It's really rewarding, uh, eventually. Um, <laughs> so, um, and a really, um, oh yeah, I also sent that with no context to my supervisor because we spent hours spotting probably the most terrible coding mistake I've ever made in my life. Now, um, a really pleasant surprise was actually in playtesting this with friends, with family, um, and a couple of students, because they actually got to grips with this really quickly in a way that they just wouldn't have done if it was all black and white you know, symbols on, on a piece of paper, um, despite the best efforts of my creative user interface choices. Um, it's not part of the assessment criteria, so it's always a really hard thing to be bothered to deal with. Um, <laughs> um, but, uh, and also, this idea is extended. This is a state machine um, that is like a delivery truck. I also quite like this teddy bear idea I came up with. It's actually a way of representing context-free grammars. Um, you you got to follow the, yeah, the, the robot site, create more teddy bears. Um, anyway, uh, some other takeaways from this. Um, teaching concepts visually and with interactivity is really cool and really important, really valuable. Um, it's kind of like sneaking in stuff like a Trojan horse uh, of the cool ideas that we geek out about. Um, and yeah, marrying ideas from different departments, different fields, um, I think is really cool. That cross-disciplinary stuff, I think is really cool. And we should be doing more of it. Thank you. <laughs>